Alright, so I'm going to make a quick video today. I have many disagreements over years. People saying you cannot run diesel in a gas motor. This is a 107cc Honda four-wheeler engine. It is carbureted. It's pretty much stock other than really janky intake and having been filled with mud several times. Yeah. 107. It says so right there if you can see it. But now I'm going to make a couple points real quick today and make some explanations of why this is possible and a couple of half-assed excuses of why you would do this. Um, many of y'all recognize this. So this is a Nitro RC car model. What I love about these is they will run literally on any fuel you can put in them. If it's thin enough it will flow through the carburetor it will run. You can get shim kits. I don't know if they even make them anymore, but I know the Fox have a set for my uh, Fox 4.0. I have two of those for my grandpa. And they came with shim kits. And a little instruction booklet saying how much you shim the head, how much you adjust the compression inside the motor for each different kind of fuel. And my reason I have this out is to prove with you. Damn chickens. The reason I was out is to prove to you that you can use a carburetor with compression ignition. As many of y'all will know, these have glow plugs in them. The glow plug doesn't ignite a damn thing. All the glow plug does is heat the cylinder and heal. It's a little bitty cylinder in there. But all the glow plug does is heat that up. So that's hot enough in there that the diesel actually has a chance to ignite. A compression ignition engine it's the timing of the piston coming up and the heat that, that creates with all the compressed gases inside the cylinder that actually make an explosion my point with this being is you don't need fuel injection to time that remember the I, I hate chicken <laughs> point with this being, you don't need direct injection or any kind of fuel injection to make that work. The timing of the piston itself is plenty. The old international diesels they put in Fords, uh, the IDI diesel is the, the closest example of this I know, they had indirect injection. That's what IDI stand for, indirect injection. And I don't remember if it was going into a, it might have been a pre-combustion chamber or it was going into the intake manifold, but the injectors were not injecting it directly into the cylinder. If you go back even farther to a lot of the old mechanical setups like the uh, uh, International Storm Starting Gas run on diesel, those you did not run. They literally started on gas and you had a compression release to get them to crank over so you could use a small battery. And you get that running and you swap over, you, flip a, you pull a valve basically and it switches over to diesel. But those, there was, I believe those were actually injected, mechanically injected, or possibly even carbureted diesels. Where the diesel just went into the intake manifold and was drawn into the cylinder the same way it would be on a gas motor. So that's the reason I pulled that out, is just so I can make the point of you do not need fuel injection for a diesel to run. And also, no point I intend to make here real quick. My camera will align where I want it to and not just fall over. That's probably going to fall. Hmm. Alright. If I move the camera. Uh, where can I put you? I think that's going to be close. How about still? Now, a point or no point I need to prove about diesel. It will burn with a match or a flint or anything like that with one condition. You got to get it hot first. So, I see no difference in the quality of flame from that match to this propane torch. 
then once it warms up, it's going to burn nicely. There she buns. Now, if the stars are aligned, I'm not fixing to make a fool of myself here. If I put this out and then try to reignite, it should flame back up if it stayed warm long enough. Come on, baby. Look. Or not. Anyhow, you get my point. Diesel will burn under a spark or a match or a propane torch if it's hot forced. That's the trick to it, it has to be warm. Which leads us on to the point of this whole video. I'm gonna make my little go-kart heel run on diesel because the piston rings are freaking shot and there is no compression. And the diesel won't completely burn in the cylinder and being so oily it's gonna help seal up the piston rings are practically gone. Therefore making more power. Now, the only proof I have for you this is actual diesel is if you notice the red tint to the fuel. I don't think you're going to see that because the gas tank is so dirty. I don't know, this is, you can see a little bit of red to it, mostly just black. But you get my point. Um, this is off-road diesel, that's the best way I have to prove it, so that's simply what you're going to get. No air filter for the wind. Now, what I'm going to do to get this sucker to run, because, like I just pointed out to you, with that little can there, it's not going to burn unless it's warm. So, I'm going to set my camera down. I don't know how that's in frame or not. I can't really see the other side of the camera. But, my friend? Yeah. You get the ideal. You get the ideal. This thing got glow plugs to warm it up for me. So I gotta do so manually. So I'm gonna turn this off and I'll wait a few minutes. Just to get this sucker nice and toasty. And I'll turn the camera back on and we'll fire it up. Alright. I've heated the motor for about 5-10 minutes now. It is hotter than I want to touch, which means it is an operating temperature. <laughs> and we're gonna try and fire the thing up. So, as you can still see, there's still a nice red tint there. I haven't done anything sneaky like change the fuel out. Um, yeah. There is still a spark plug. It's not compression ignition. And we're going to try to file this fucker up. I think it strokes more right off idle. Yeah, 
So, there'll be a gas motor running on diesel. Trick to it is, heat the sucker up. <laughs> and, yeah, that about sums it up. I believe I have proven my point of a, a gasoline engine with a long diesel in the right circumstances. Now, reasons you will do this, this is kind of becoming a longer, longer video than I wanted it to, but if any of y'all are interested in this, maybe it'll be worth watching, maybe not. Um, reasons you want to do this. In my case, my piston rings are shot to hell. That's why I'm doing it. I need I need something to help seal up the piston rings to give me the, the extra compression just to get the damn thing to run. So that's why I'm doing it. I could also use I could dump motor oil on the gas or gear oil or something thick like that that wouldn't burn very quick. That would do the same thing. And now actual reasons to do this aside from making shitty ass mows live a little longer. Um, there's a couple. If you're up north, Camden, Canada, anyone, Alaska, North Pole, you get the idea. If you live up there, I've been told that you have issues with your gas turning into like a gel when it's really cold out. I've also been told diesel will help fix that. Never done it. Don't know what mail it has to it, but I, I have been told many times that diesel will lower the freezing point of gas. So there's one reason. The better reason that I know of is if you look at the worn out Ford over there with a 600 sip from Harley on it. I'm the kind of guy who runs, like to have things going straight up a hill or a cliff or something like that practically or bouncing around up on Trey Mountain going through mud holes. You end up with issues with the electric fuel pump vapor locking or the whole fuel system vapor locking. And I've learned you had like one part of the diesel to 20 parts gas. It helps tremendously with that. The problem practically fixed itself. I never had that issue again. Just every time I go wheeling, I had about a gallon of diesel before I, I get I head up there. So that's a more legitimate reason. I think it just being oily or it seals bell, it's harder for it to find a leak. But it freaking works. So there you go as if to why you will do that for three scenarios. Two that I know for sure, one that I've been told. Um, yeah, that about sums it up.